Hey guys, my name is Varun Walimbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you all how to add custom gazebo models in uh, through 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 launch file instead of the conventional insert method, right? So uh, before uh, so before starting, I want to let you know what do we need to add those files. So we need three things. We need uh, a model file. A model file is an SDF file which will be present in your models folder of the package. Then you need a world file. This will describe a world in the gazebo. And then a launch file, which will launch all the uh, world files and uh, your custom your custom models together in a launch and it will, uh, it will spawn your model. So let's get started. Uh, first I will show you how the custom model looks like. So I'll open gazebo. And by the insert method, I will first show you how the model looks like. So this is a SCARA manipulator, three degrees of freedom SCARA manipulator, which we are going to spawn in gazebo now through launch file. So I'll close this. Okay. So I will just CD into my package first. So, so my package is package YouTube ROS, so yours must be different. So write the command appropriately. Okay, so we are in our package now. So let's check the folders first. Okay, so for this uh, particular thing, we need a models folder over here. Then we need a world and then we need a launch file, launch folder. Make sure you have these folders. If you don't have them, please make it using make dir command. So first I will uh, edit the launch file. So CD launch, I'll go into the launch section and make sure you have a file inside it called as model.launch or any kind of name you want. But make sure you have a file inside. If you don't have one, make it by touch command in Linux and the and followed by the file name, right? So I have already made one. So I'm just going to edit it. So gedit model. And so this is my launch file. So you must be familiar with all these things already. So I have I've, I'm not writing it down for you right now. So it's already written over here. So we need so to so we need that we need that gazebo should be able to um gazebo should be able to find our models package of a custom or custom model package right so how can it find the model path so we will need to add the model path in the launch file so that the gazebo is able to find our custom model in our custom package right so add these lines inside your launch file there's a variable called environment. So environment name, and it's going to be gazebo model path. You can't give any kind of other name. This is the, this is a predefined name. So make sure that the name is the same as I'm giving you. Okay. Then we will need to put up the, put up our, put up our, uh, location, the path of our package, right? path of our models folder of the package. So the, the way to do this is by putting the dollar sign first and then fi uh, find and then package name. So my package name is package underscore YouTube underscore Ross. Yours must be different. So make sure you write your own package name over here and then models. Models because my folder's name is models and there is a model saved in my package. I'll just show you. See, this is my model. Its name is Carapulator. Okay. So um, let's come back to the launch file. Okay. Make sure to close it. If you forget to close it, you will get an error. Like, and uh, also add here extra gazebo args.
and default is equal to I hope you all know the meaning of verbose so I'm not mentioning it again right and we also need to add our we need to also add our world file so this is my world file I will quickly I will I'm, uh, I will I'm going to show you what the world file looks like soon right but before that uh, there is one more thing we need to add in the launch file we have to put we have to insert the variables in gazebo so this this is where we created the variable and now we are inserting its value so it's going to be extra gazebo args and then value is equal to so to put a variable also we use the same thing except that we, we instead of find we put arc and arc is extra gazebo args there is always a variable after the arg so this is a variable if i if i put a different variable name make sure to put a different variable name this and this should not i mean it's not necessary to be the same right i have kept it same to for simplicity right and then you have to close the tag don't forget to close the tag and yes now we are done with the launch file so three lines we added this thing which is the model which is the package path then this is the uh, variable gazebo extra gazebo args variable so that it will take uh, the model path thing into consideration and then it will insert it in gazebo so by this our we end, we end our launch file so now the now the thing that we have we need to make is the world file to define the world in gazebo so let's do that okay so first come back to your package and see the file folders so you must see a world over here so i'm going to go in the world file world world directory and now there should now there should be a file called as model.world but it's not there over here so we'll make one so touch model.world world file is nothing but sdf file but it has a tag called as world inside it so let's edit okay so we so it's as it's an sdf file the start is going to be the same very same as the sdf so let's do it so first we are going to define the xml version it's 1.0 for me you can put your put up your own version uh, i'll just quickly change this to xml first so that it improves the readability okay uh, sorry it's a mistake over here it should be question mark yeah and then sdf it starts with an sdf tag model.world and it ends with an sdf tag so first we'll do that and also it's all uh, inside an sdf tag there is a world tag as i told you and the name is the default you can put up your any name over here and right and it ends with a world tag like this so to include any kind of models in the world we we use include tag so first we are going to add the ground plane which is the most important thing so i'm going to add the ground plane first so in the so how to add it by include tag right and then we are going to use the uri tag i'm assuming you must be familiar with the uri tag so i'm not explaining it over here i will explain it in other another video if you want and model name is the ground plane so basically what does this uri tag does is it uh searches the searches the model in the gazebo right so any kind of model present in the dot gazebo folder of your there's a hidden folder in your uh direct uh, hidden folder in your uh system right in in ross gazebo system so dot that was the there is a dot gazebo folder so in that it's going to find your model 
and it's going to include it. You can also check the list of the gazebo models online. So, okay, so I've added the ground plane. So now we'll add a, a source light. Light is important, otherwise it will look very dark. So I'm going to add the source light. It's the same thing, include. And then the model name. Okay, so source light model is called as sun. So I'm going to write sun over here. And then I'm going to close it. Sorry for the editor, it's very bad, I know. I, I didn't use the Visual Studio Code. You can, you, you're free to use it. Um, now I will add the custom model. So the custom model is scar appulator, right? So we are going to add it. Make sure you give the right name that is present in your models folder. So it's for it's me for me, it's scar appulator. For you, it might be different. So make sure you do that correctly. Otherwise, you will get an error. Okay, with all this done. We have finished our uh, world file. So this is our world file. There is a ground plane. There is going to be a light source and then there's going to be our model. Okay. Also before just closing the model dot world check if all the tags are closed correctly. So this is the XML. It's closed correctly. SDF is closed correctly. World is closed correctly. Includes all the includes are closed correctly. All the URS are in closed correctly. So we're going to save it and we close it. Okay, so then so now we are all ready because we also have a we all we have the models folder, we have a model inside the models folder, we have the world folder, we have model.world fold more world file, we also have a model.launch file. So let's test this. Okay, so as you can see, we have successfully launched the launch file. And yeah, here is our model. This is the three degrees of freedom custom SCARA manipulator. Okay, so guys, if you like the video, please uh, press the like button below. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Uh, see you all next time.